Hello, my name is Shimon Slavin. I'm the scientific and medical director of the International Center for Cell Therapy and Cancer in Tel Aviv in Israel. I would like to take this opportunity and update you about special activities done at our center, which may be of interest to you. As you may know, despite major progress in uh, treatment of cancer, cancer remains the uh, world's number one leading cause of death. And unfortunately, the incidence of cancer is constantly growing. Unfortunately, oncologists today look at cancer as a chronic disease, and they are not really thinking about cure, but rather treatment of the disease in order to try to control cancer cell growth. We, at our International Center of Cell Therapy and Cancer, the ICTC, we would like to think out of the box and try to cure cancer rather than treat cancer. Our optimism is based on more than 25 years of experience in treating patients with leukemia and other blood cancers where we could show without question that even patients with diseases that were completely resistant to conventional anti-cancer modalities could be cured by innovative modalities. We would like to take this opportunity and show you some of the special activities and some of the special procedures we are now using. Some of them are still regarded experimental in order to achieve the goal, cure of cancer. Whether localized cancer and cancer cells that are sensitive to chemotherapy can be cured by conventional modalities, surgery or conventional chemotherapy, metastatic cancer remains by and large incurable. What can we do in order to try and cure this disease? Well, first of all, of course, early diagnosis is most important. And also, it is very important to listen to the treating physician because conventional anti-cancer modalities, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, are very useful to eliminate the bulk of the disease. It is very important in step one to try to eradicate as many cancer cells as possible using conventional modalities. But the question remains, what then? How can we eliminate minimal residual disease? How can we kill the few cancer cells that are resistant to chemotherapy? In order to try and accomplish our goal, it is very important that we understand what is cancer all about, and then try to see how can we bring the best of basic science at the patient bedside. Or in other words, how can we apply user-friendly approaches rather than aggressive approaches in order to try and eliminate all cancer cells? As we all know, cancer begins with a single cell. And therefore, unless we kill all the cells, we cannot talk about cure. If everything begins with one cell, the last cell must be eliminated in order to cure cancer. And let us see what methods can we apply in order to try and accomplish our goal? We never know what transform a cell into a cancer cell, but we know that once a cancer cell is formed, it will multiply and multiply and multiply, and it will disseminate in the patient, create metastasis, and finally kill the patient. We know that after 10 cell divisions, the single cell becomes 1 million cells. Unfortunately, 1 million cancer cells are the size of a head of a pin, still invisible by any of the methods available today. After additional 10 divisions, the size of the tumor is one centimeter, one billion tumor cells. Of course, this can be visualized by conventional methods, but it will normally not give any clinical signs. It takes only 10 cell divisions in order to get into a one kilogram tumor, which is sufficient to kill the patient. So we have a very big problem. Single cells can develop very rapidly into bulky disease. And the question is, how can we stop the process? To put it in a diagrammatic way, if all cancer cells can be eliminated by the knife of a surgeon, or if cancer cells are sensitive to chemotherapy, cure is no problem. The problem is when the number of cancer cells 
is increased or when they become resistant to conventional anti-cancer modalities. And then high-dose chemotherapy may be required to kill all the cancer cells. Of course, such treatment may also damage patients' own bone marrow cells. And therefore, elimination of such cancer cells can be accomplished only in conjunction with stem cell support, the so-called autologous stem cell transplantation. But still, using autologous stem cell transplantation, cancer can be cured. The problem, or the serious problem, begins when patients come in an advanced stage of the disease. As you can see here, the amount of chemotherapy that may be required to kill all cancer cells is likely to kill the patient, and therefore, conventional chemotherapy is unlikely to be applicable for cure of such cancer patients. The question is, what can be done in order to cure such patients? Unfortunately, many of the patients that apply to our clinic belong to this category. Well, obviously, since we have maximized already conventional anti-cancer modalities, from now on, in order to eliminate those resistant cells, we must apply some innovative modalities rather than aggressive modalities. And the method that we like the most is immunotherapy, or in other words, using the immune system in order to kill all cancer cells.